What's up? It's the Lavination, and today we are going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, one of the best games I have ever seen in my entire life. And I have finally found the Master Sword hidden in the Lost Woods. I will tell you how to get through the Lost Woods in this episode, so uh, look forward to that. Let's pull this bad boy out! Then it, then it, then it, then it. Oh my gosh, dude, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. What? Whoa. I got it. Boy. Oh my word. Look at that awesome pose that he's making. Whoa. The, the, wow. Excalibur for the Master Sword. Wow, <laughs> just got it. I've been waiting a week to get this Elgato. Finally pulls out. Your master will come for you. Till then, you shall rest safely here. Wait, a memory. What? Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of the memories. Ooh, what? If I may be so hmm? bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? Hmm? The Master Sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Mm -hmm. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I can... Now then, words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Bam! Oh, dude, the awesome picture and taking screenshot of that. Well, I just found a memory. Whoa! Wow, that's a long time. Wow. I'm going to rewatch that because I didn't hear half the sound. Oh, the legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can only oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. A blade has a name. Yeah, I already know that. Do you think I'm an idiot? <laughs> when used against Calamity Ganon or those tainted by his malice, it will become suffused with holy light. Wow. You, can, you guys can read this. I'm just going to read it in my head quickly. Mm. 
But <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm, you know that's like half. Whoa! Completed the main quest, boy. But what? What? Then? Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that sword! Look at that sword! Look at that sword! Wow! Oh my gosh, that's epic! That is epic! Well, it's the most amazing thing I've seen all day. It's epic, epicness has arrived! Well, that's insane. I hope you guys actually heard the memory because my sound just got messed up there. Oh my word. Probably do some editing to that so the sound doesn't get messed up as heck. It was just epic though, just finally getting that master sword all the way over here. Ooh, it added an extra slot to my thing. It's 30 damage, that is actually quite. But, there's a sword that does 72 damage. There is one, but this, this one's probably the best thing that you're gonna get because it never ever breaks. If you use it too much though, it does explode. Then it sits in your hot bar for at least like 20 minutes in, in game time, so kind of kind of sucks, but I mean, it never breaks and it does 30 damage, it's pretty good. Also, I'm going to show you a really easy sword to get, Woodland Tower. Insanely easy, you just climb up the strange skull looking thing, then you grab the sword that is stuck in its head. Well. Let's just wait for it to load here. Aim at your feet. I already know all all of these things. Okay guys, we are back. Sorry about that. I just glitched out for a second. I'll I'll cut that. Okay. So basically you climb up the skull thing and BOOM! Royal Blade! The Royal Claymore! It's just 52 attack damage, insanely easy to get. And insanely overpowered. Let me just drop this. Royal Claymore. 52. It's insane that you can get it that easily. Can't believe I didn't see it when it like went blue. Blue swirly thing. And I have done a ton since you guys last saw my Zelda video. I mean, <laughs> you can't not play Zelda when you actually have it. Basically got 61 arrows. I have um, gotten this awesome shield here. Pretty sure you can go shield surf. No idea how to do that yet. I did buy this, all this stuff today. So I can um, live in the cold weathers. And also I did find this in the labyrinth. Found um, and this in the labyrinth. No I didn't. I bought that with like 2000 rupees and a bunch of ancient parts. Bought this for like 600 rupees. <laughs> and look at Calamity right there. And I have been filling out my um, Hyrule Compendium. I'll show you all the stuff that I have. Uh, I have a couple of wolves. Uh, box in there. Got a moose. I got a rhinoceros. I got a high lion retriever. Got some birds. I got a fish. <laughs> I actually have a fairy. Randomly finds a fairy. Just takes a picture of it. I got all the Boku blends, especially his like dead brother relative thingy. And I got a ton of these Lizolfs. I'm pretty sure I still need the fire Lizolf and the water Lizolf. Pretty sure there is a water Lizolf and unless I'm just an idiot and there's no water Lizolf. So there's one more that I forget, fire, ice, electric, one more. Because now one more should go in that spot right here. I have to Took in pictures the Guardian Stalker, the Guardian Skywatcher, and the Decay Guardian. I also um, attacked some of these stone taluses, got some insanely OP stuff. I didn't kill that guy. He he sat on me and I died. <laughs> it's insane. You go between his legs and you start attacking him. On the left leg, you see there with no armor. And he just sits on you and you die. Like, instantly. <laughs> By the way, those guys were the hardest Hinoxes to defeat. I found an orange one and did defeat him. And also this insanely amazing dragon. No idea 
what these guys are. If you guys have any idea, please um leave your idea in the uh, comments below. But it's insane. Like, you can read the description. It's like, nobody witnessed this in cur the current age. The flame <laughs> makes it dangerous to get near. And I do have an insane picture in my library of me getting struck by the lightning guy, which I'm pretty sure is the Farosh. This is the fire guy, obviously. I don't know why I found the fire guy in, like, an icy place. No, no idea what happened there. I took some pictures of some fruits here. Bunch of different fruits. <laughs> Okay, some boring fruit, and also the Master Sword in its gleaming glory. This <laughs> common locations unknown. Tree branch, torch, uh, boko glub, glub club, a spike boko club. I just took pictures of a bunch of um, every weapon I really see I take a picture of. Not really. I mean, I didn't really know the picture thing was useful until like 30 minutes ago. Or at least, no wait, a day, <laughs> not 30 minutes, I didn't take that many pictures in 30 minutes. And I will also show you the insane, okay, I basically, let me just delete this, stupid, okay. That That's literally the best picture of a Hinox that I've ever took it. Amazing picture, just gets up, <laughs> now one giant creepy eyeball. That is also in the Hyrule Castle, snuck in there, <laughs> I wanted to. Really badly to see like what's going on. I survived, and this is again it's creepy, insanely creepy. It's like a weird heart looking thing, it's an evil heart. It's like I don't even know. <laughs> I have no idea. Went in Hyrule Castle, I found this, then I just ran. I didn't go actually in the room, as you can see, I'm in the archway. But if I went in the room, I now I would encounter a boss fight, which I certainly didn't want. It's Took some different pictures, and I will, next episode, on Thursday's episode, I will show you how to find these five memories right here, so look forward to that video. All these things, and I might be doing a Zelda live stream tomorrow at at least 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock. So that, that would be pretty fun if I got to that. And I did also fill out the whole map, insane. Still got those... Three Divine Beasts that I have to do. Boom, boom, and boom. And I'm right there. Woodland Tower. It's actually insanely close to the, um, Lost Woods. Basically, in Lost Woods, you, um, grab your torch. Whichever the, whichever way the embers go, you have to follow that way until you get to somewhere else. If you don't follow your embers, you'll, you literally get lost and you'll get replaced, like, right there. Kinda sucks. It's pretty much all I've done, and I also went through this labyrinth, insane maze. I highly suggest you looking at this before you go, like, sort of map out the area marked in uh, your head. Then like, wait, what? <laughs> it just gets lost. Yeah, just try to mark out the area from that map, and um, you'll probably find your way. I personally went through this way. I went boom, boom, then I went through here. Wait, wait. I don't even know if that's the right map. I know I went through one of these. I know I did. I swear this is, like, I'm given useless information here. I know that this is the map of it, and you should follow the map of it. For some reason, I can't find the way. So I'm an idiot right now. I'm an, I'm an idiot. And also, you um probably can climb some of the stuff in there. Like, say, that one um probably climb something right there. It's just insanely confusing. Very confusing. I said to do things. That's the Hyrule Castle. And same with that creepy purpley wisp stuff. Yeah, so... For the rest of this episode, I basically will just be, um, farming coins. <laughs> I'll also tell you an insanely good way to farm. You basically go to this Hebra Tower, right here. Teleport there. That's actually a really loud animation. Really loud animation. Yeah. 
after about 20 minutes of this video, I'll probably quit here. Well, let's wait for this to load. Weapon bonuses, special bows. It's actually, those uh, bows that fire multiple arrows at once, they're insane because they only take one arrow, then they fire like three. It's insanely overpowered with bomb arrows. You grab one bomb arrow and it turns it into three and it just, poof, just kills everything. Insanity. <laughs> Insanity, why? Oh, and I need to quickly grab this. If you don't know where to get all this uh, warm stuff, like the snow quill stuff, you basically go to Rito Village and their um, clothes shop has the stuff. In order to make insane tons of money, uh, whoa! Oh, I need to show you that creepy thing over there. It's insane. I don't even know. It's just so creepy. Pretty sure, yeah, it's Mog Land Shrine. You go to the Mog Land Shrine every every single night time or like a couple night times. You get this insanely creepy thing. And I heard on the um tip thing, it says whoever's skilled enough to shoot one of the ghost heaven bunnies, you get an insane prize. No idea what's that what that is about, but I'll show you. If I get like five thousand rupees. You'll probably want to shoot one of these guys. I think I went to the wrong place. Did I? Did I go to the wrong place? Why is it why is it morning time now? What happened? It was nighttime over there. I don't why This is messed up. I don't even know what just happened. It was literally nighttime over there. Did you guys not see this? Well, I'm gonna take a picture of you. Picture time. Oh no, it's happening again. Perfect picture. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you go to the Mog Land Shrine, you get this insanely creepy thing once you go up here. It starts turning all like pink stuff. Look at that. Like you can actually. Oh my gosh. What? Shut him! What? Oh my gosh! What? He spills out with rupees? That is also a good way to make money. Oh my gosh. Oh my word! What happens if you shoot the moose? Wow, this is just not creepy at all. What is this? Come on, a knight's bow just breaks right in the middle of this. Um, good thing I got another one. What is this? What? <laughs> I've never seen this before. That is insane, though. It's not much of a prize. You can probably... <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That's not weird at all. Purple Rupee, this is actually an insane way to make a lot of money. If you want some money, just go over here at night time. It's insane. I don't even know what just happened. Now I'll show you the good way to make money. It's basically this guy called, um, he's Snowlands or Snowball, does Snowball Bowling. It's a really weird combination, but I'll show you in just a second. When we actually get there. And not get distracted by the creepy ghost thing on that mountain. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of titles to this video. Well, let that load up draft. Sorry, you can read the uh, tips to get some free tips. If you guys haven't seen these before, got this Hebrew Tower. Okay, basically, go to the Hebrew Tower. You go over here to this edge, jump off with your uh, <laughs> little. I'm an idiot. Paraglider. Okay. Paraglider. There's this guy down here, right beside the snowball, and he says you're supposed to go snowlin' or snowball bowling. See? You can read this because there's <laughs> a lot of puns in there. Oh my gosh. One game costs a cool 20 rupees to play, then you get 300 rupees if you get a strike. You get, um, if you get the, like, if you score, like, nine pins, then you get one on the last one, you also get a hundred rupees, then if you get eight, you get fifty, if you get seven, you get, yeah. Okay. 
It's no joke. Boom! You see all those? You have to knock them down. Strike. Spare. Yeah, we can read this. But I'm not going to. Okay. Basically, the best way to do it is you go on this little thing. It's probably the best way to get a strike possible. Boom! <laughs> Just like that! Just get to strike. See, that's basically how you do it and just keep on redoing it. A YouTuber did this, like, say, like, four days ago. Um, he calculated it. You get $24,000 an hour. 24,000 rupees. It's insane. See, 300 gold rupees right here. Awesomeness. Say I've lost interest when you're done. Get all your nice rupees. I actually just got, um, at least 3,000 rupees from this. I, I did a little bit. We got my Master Sword, the only thing that I did this, did this episode for. Also, there is a shrine over there, if you guys if you guys didn't know that. And there is also a, um, just quickly look. There is also a Snowfield Stable. It's pretty nice, and also there's a lot of animals. Um, there's also another thing where you can basically go around, just killing all these, um, like, mooses. <laughs> Mooses? I don't even know how to say it. Mo mooses, like rhin rhinos, wolves, and all that to get raw prime meat and raw gourmet meat. It's pretty nice. So, basically, this has been my Zelda video. <laughs> let, me, let, let me take a selfie with this awesome sword in here. You can actually literally take a selfie. It's so cheese. Take a selfie. You press X to do self portrait. You can take a selfie over here. Wait, wait, I want to take a selfie with my sword. Come on. You know what? You don't want a selfie. Selfie. Okay. So see you guys later. Peace. Out. Boy!